Assuming you already have one of these guys, and if not, the link will be in the description. In order to configure your Elgato Stream Deck with your OBS Studio, you will want to download the Elgato Stream Deck software. You do so by going to the link in the description or just search for Elgato Stream Deck software. Just select whatever uh, product you have. So in my case, I have the Stream Deck Mini. And from here, press on download. And with the software downloaded, it should look kind of like wow. this. And the main idea of how this works is that you got your keys here. Perfect. Um, this is where you will edit all your actions and to the right you got this big menu of all the different actions that you can configure into your stream deck if you scroll down a bit you will directly see here obs studio so there are a bunch of already pre-made actions for your stream deck that elgato provides you in order for you to actually put this on to your stream deck so you can use it it's by holding left click on the one you want and dragging it to the key that you want so perfect now this key will be as my record action and yeah at the bottom we can change stuff like the title of it if you need a long press or just a simple press on the key for it to take action you can also uh, change the icon of it um, depending on if you want to if you're not happy with the ones that elgato offered by default you want to click on this keyboard rgb thing and you want to click on plugins basically just search at the search bar for obs for example the best one is this one obs tools however you also got the stream elements plugin for example and uh, yeah you can see you can check out the other ones as well uh, if you want to so you want to click on download and you got all these brand new uh, actions that you can put for your stream deck like I, I can't tell you exactly what you should have it depends on your needs like everyone have different needs in this society now if you go to the settings to click on a cogwheel and then profile basically you have different actions on your stream deck depending on what profile you have an example could be one profile for when you're streaming one profile for when you're recording and then maybe one for when you're just lousing around watching netflix like i don't know at accounts you'll be able to connect your account i would suggest doing this in case any of the plugins require this or just just, just so, so you give a lot of your login info. info and over here at the general settings you'll be able to change some stuff like including the brightness of your keypads and very important that you every once in a while click on check for updates and so you know that your stream deck is healthy to the left upper hand corner over here this is where you will change stuff like uh, selecting what device you want to have on the preview over here and what uh, profile you want to set so leave a tiny tiny like on this video if anything did help would mean so much questions in the comment section as always and see you next video stories out